Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about classes and objects. As I already told you that a class is the blueprint of the object. So in the class we define all the properties and the behavior for our object. Now let's first define a very simple class to understand the syntax that we use to define a class. Now whenever you want to define a class you will create a new file. It is not necessary. We can define the class here as well, but it is recommended that for every class you should create a new file. So I will create a new file inside my SRC folder and I will select this option. So right click new and then Kotlin file class. Now here I will name my class. So one thing that you must notice is the file name and your class name should be the same. It is not actually necessary. It can be different, but it is recommended that you must use the same name for the file and the class. So I will be creating a class named box and that is why I am naming the file as box. So we have created a new file named box.kt. Now inside this file, we will create a class named box. Now defining a class in Kotlin is very easy. We just use the class keyword. So we write class and then the class name. As the file name is box, we will write the class name as box as well. It can be different. For example, I can write box one, but it is recommended that we should use the same name for the file and the class. So we have a class box ready. Now from this curly brace to this closing curly brace, we have the class body and inside the body, we will define the properties and the behavior for my object that I want. So we are defining the blueprint of the object that is this class box and inside the blueprint, we will basically define the properties and the behaviors. Properties are defined using variables and the behaviors are defined using functions. So we already know about variables and functions and we will define the variables and functions inside this class that we want for this class. So what properties we can have for a box? So we can have val length of type int. Let's say it is 10 val with this is also an end let's say we have 20 and val height of type end let's say we have 5 as the height now notice that i have defined the variables using val that means the variables are immutable and this means all the boxes will have the same length width and height but we may want to change it. So we will think about it later that how we can change it. But for now, all the dimensions for our box that are length, width and height are same. So these are the properties for our box. Now we will also define some behaviors for our box. Now let's think what behaviors we can define for our box. For example, we can fill the box. So this is a behavior or function. So we can define a function, let's say fun fill contents, or you can name your function anything that you want. And just for now, I will just print a message using println. So box is filled. Now we can define more behaviors. For example, we can open the box, we can close the box. So just for the sake of example, I will define one more function that is open. So we have box open. So these two are the behaviors for my box and these three are the properties of the box. So this is how we define a class in Kotlin. We use the class keyword, we write the class name and inside the curly braces, we define the properties and the functions. Now, also remember that this box, I have written with a capital B. So it is the standard naming convention of Kotlin language. 
that means you will use capital letters for each words initial in your class name and we have our class ready now let's see how we can define an object using this class so here inside my main.kt file we have the starting point of our program and inside the starting point that is our main function we will create an object for our class box so when you want to create an object what you will do is you will again use either var or val for this example i will use val so we have val now let's say we will name the val as box and then we can create an instance of box like this so we write the class name and then parenthesis now we have an instance of our box and the same way we can create multiple instances for example we have box 1 we have box 2 we have box 3 so you can create as many instances as required so now we have three boxes and we used the same box class to create all these three instances that means all these three instances have their own width height and length and all these three boxes have their own behaviors that are fill contents and open the box to access the behavior and properties we can use dot so if we want to access the properties of the box what we can do is we can write box one or any box instance dot property name now if you are familiar with java then what we usually do is we create getters to access the properties now kotlin creates getters under the hood it seems like that we are accessing the properties directly but it is not true kotlin is creating getters and it is using the getters to fetch the property so remember this thing we can also create our custom getters and setters that we will learn about in coming videos for now we just want to access the properties that are height length and width so this is how we can access the properties of a class so what we can do is we can write print ln and then i can write height and then dollar box dot oops it is box one so we have box one dot height and the same way we can get the length and the width now you can do the same thing with all the box instances but for this example i am just using the box one now if i want to access the functions i can again do the same thing that is box one dot open and then box one dot fill contents now if i run the code now i will get the outputs as you can see we are getting the correct output we are getting the height length and width and then we are getting the behaviors output as well that are box open and boxes fit now in this example we have the same dimensions for all the boxes but it is not that interesting so if you want to change the length width and the height for your box you can define it as mutable properties that means you can use vars so if you will write vars you can change the length width and the height of the box for example i can change the height of box 1 here so i can write box 1 dot height equals to let's say right now the height value is 5 so i will make it 7 now if i run the code now i will get the changed height as you can see we are getting the height as 7 now notice here that the box 1 is val we didn't change it to var because we are not changing the box 1 but we are changing a property that is inside box 1 so we are changing this height and not the box and that is why we do not need to make this box 1 as mutable using var we only need to make this height or the dimensions as var because we want to change these properties and not the 
box itself. Now here we are setting a value for the height and again if you are familiar with Java then usually we do it using setters. But as I already told you that the Kotlin generates the getters and setters under the hood. So it is actually using the setters and the getters but we are seeing it as we are directly accessing the property to set the value. But it is not true. It is using the setters and the getters. And we can also customize or override the getters and the setters. And I will tell you about this in the next video. So that is all for this video friends. In this video we learned how we can create a class and how we can create an object in Kotlin. In case you have any confusion or question you can leave your comments below. So thanks for watching. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.